Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how to solder the ESP8266 to a breakout board and how to connect it and configure the Arduino IDE. Today I'm going to show you my first ESP8266 project. This is the first of three videos I'm planning to upload, so if you're interested you might consider subscribing to my channel. So what's the project? Well, it's basically a 5 channel solid state relay, which can be controlled either by physical momentary switches or by a web server. Okay, so here it is. It's still on a breadboard, but I will solder everything to one of these prototyping boards, also known as perf boards. I will also design and 3D print a DIN rail compatible case to house the buttons, as I will use this inside a breaker panel of a warehouse to control the exterior lights. I will show you all the process in the next videos. When you press a button, the corresponding relay toggles on or off. As for the web page, it allows us to see the current state of the relays and toggle it accordingly. As you can see, when a relay is on, the state changes to on and the function changes to turn off and vice versa. Of course, if I press a button, the state on the web page updates too. I also created two buttons to turn all the relays on or off at the same time. And included a form to set the refresh rate of the web page in seconds. To turn the automatic refresh off, you simply set it to zero. I know this might look complicated at first glance, but it is actually quite simple. So basically what we have here is the same circuit repeated 5 times. Each channel of the relay is controlled by one GPIO pin. So from the GPIO pin we go through a resistor and an optocoupler, also known as optoisolator. In case you don't know how an optocoupler works, inside of it is one LED and one phototransistor. So every time you apply current to the LED, the phototransistor lets current flow from one leg to the other. Since the output of the GPIO is 3.3 volts at a maximum of 14 mA and the forward voltage of the LED is 1.2 volts, I am using a 200 ohm resistor which limits the current to about 10.5 mA. In case you are wondering how I calculated the value of the resistor, here is the formula. The push buttons are all connected to the only analog to digital converter pin of the SP using simple voltage divider theory. This means that each button when pressed provides a different voltage to the ADC, allowing the software to distinguish each button from one another. Since we know that the ADC pin on the SP only reads up to 1 volt, we have to choose the resistor values wisely. First, we divide 1 volt by the number of buttons. In this case, since I'm using 5, the result is 0.2 volts. So the first button has to provide 0.2 volts or less, the second about 0.4 volts, the third 0.6, the fourth 0.8 and finally the fifth 1 volt. You can calculate the value of the needed resistors using this formula. Since I know that I will use a 470 ohm resistor connected to ground, which is R2 in the equation, and I know the input voltage and desired output voltage, I can calculate R1. The values I chose are 6.8k, 3.3k, 2.2k, 1.5k and 1k. And it seems to work great. Here is a small preview of my code. In the next video I will explain each line and provide a download link. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep updated to my future videos. And if you have any question, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Have fun!